maybe what's some things you're still having time to work on? Yeah, you know, just as far as getting more reps in, as far as like conditioning, you know, I'm able um, to, you know, have longer wind, so I'm able to uh, get up and down the floor more quickly and more um, more easily than, you know, last year. And uh, defense, I'm able to be, move my feet, you know, more either left or right, you know, whichever way I need to help or guard the ball. Gavin, Rick, Coach Ray calls you a throwback center all the time. When you watch other teams on film when you're preparing to play, do you ever kind of watch them and go, wow, there's nobody out here that's like me? You know, there's not a big that would like to be in the paint. I mean, you seem like a very, very you know, unique type of player. Yeah, I mean, just just growing up under Coach Carter, I mean, you know, with him being that old school type of uh, uh, forward or uh, uh, post guy, I just, you know, just need me, my game after him. So, uh, you know, then we're going in with Coach Ray, I kind of, you know, merge some of uh, my Coach Carter skills in with Coach Ray. And I mean, that's why, you know, I'm like it. Uh, that all the time, you know, low post player. Do you, a lot of guys, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, if they like to eventually, maybe when they're in high school, think that they're a guard, you know, and they'll, they'll, they'll you know, come out 20 feet out, you know, and yet it doesn't seem like you've ever had any interest in doing that. You, you know who you are. Yes, sir. Where well, did that come from? Well, you know, that comes with uh, just learning my role. With my first day with Coach Ray, uh, when he visited my house, he was just telling me you have to uh, know your role. I mean, you know, you know, you're six nine and you uh, are about two sixty, so there's no deal for you being out, you know, on the perimeter. So he was just like, just be that low post presence. I mean, you know, you'll be able to be successful in that seat. You know, I've been following him. You know, I've been believing that, and he has been my motivation, like every single day in practice, and you know, during the first season and during the season to come. Nobody. Game when you were growing up, you tried to model your game after as, as that type of you know, old school type traditional uh, big. Well, at first um, it was the White House. Then I then I figured out I couldn't jump like you can. <laughs> but uh, I mean, and then I started to make my game after uh, Zito, uh, Zach Randolph, because you know he's that big guy can shoot the 15 foot and 17 feet. So. You probably more as far as his shot and uh, being able not to turn the ball over. So, I mean, just his intensity level every day in practice uh, provides a direct correlation to me. If he has high intensity, I will have high intensity. And, you know, we'll just have a great practice and create chemistry, you know, that'll, um, that'll never, you know, that'll never die down. Bruce, I play more off the ball. Bruce, when he did, he had the ball quite a bit. He just turned on the well, since we have more bodies, you know, with Ajay Reedy, he'll be able to be out the ball a little bit more to be, um, you know, a wing and if we get him in the corner guard position, you know, he'll be able to do that for us also. Yesterday and today, there kind of felt like the players a little bit, I won't say resentment, but maybe bitterness or something towards Kentucky, getting so much attention to preseason player of the year as a great game, all the hype around them while other guys are older, more experienced, somewhat get looked over. What are your thoughts about that? Uh, you know, um, I mean, just Kentucky just uh, just always been a good team. So, you know, when we was going to play them, we was like, oh, we could have played a good team. So, I mean, just just playing them, I mean, it, it opened up our eyes to be more mature, you know, um, to, you know, learn more. We went back and watched film over Kentucky, and, you know, we just, you know, uh, just increased our uh, skill and, you uh, our individual skills, our team chemistry, we just increased it, you know, as we play. Based on what you've seen in practice, why do you think this team would be better? I mean, it's more bodies. You know, last year, you know, we had the coaches playing, and, uh, you know, we used to, we used to bang with them. But now, since it's more body, it's more competitive. So that means everybody is fighting for each position. So um, now, I mean, uh, it's more intensity. More competitive, and I mean, I believe that will carry over into the game. You can't play this year, Kevin, but how much could it help you as the season goes along? Just having that big that you can go against every day in practice, and he seems more physical than people were led to believe. You know, when he got here. I mean, how thin he was. yeah, he has helped me out a lot. You know, with working with Coach Aiken, you know, we're gonna get him, uh, you know, to become more. Uh, 
full, you know, to become more healthy, so you know he can be able to play in um, in the SC. Because I was telling him, you know, he was saying he wanted to stay the same way. I was like, it's a it's a different, uh, you know, ball game than you know Philly Prep. But I mean, just for Lou with his long arms, you know, in practice, I was playing against managers, and, you know, they I'm I'm looking down on them, but for me, we're eye to eye, and I mean that has helped me to you know. Um, be able to get around him, you know, and just make moves.